Okay. This is... This is so satisfying. I literally cannot see anything. Um, I'm gonna keep on the glasses. Hi. How are you all doing? Okay, uh, welcome to another book talk session with me. So, I'm Sunita Patri. I have two books with me. The I'm really sorry, I'm recording through the front camera. So, uh, I'm gonna say it out loud for you The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and The Alchemist by Paolo Kuhulu. I don't know if I'm pronunciating that right. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck is by Mark Manson. First, I'm going to talk about this. Okay, so this one is literally from like 2016 and I am very sure I made the note which I forgot. Uh, yes, we do have our notes here. We have a pan. We have a book. Let's dive into it because I love talking about books. Okay, so first of all, Okay, moving into it. Uh, what was I saying? Yes. Okay, so this book is from 2016. It's a self-help book. Please do ignore the construction because there's always construction going on. There's always traffic going on. The main road is literally outside my window. So I'm really sorry about that. So we're going to ignore that and we're going to focus on my voice, what I'm saying, okay? So uh, it's a self-help book. But the thing with self-help book is that, firstly, I am not a fiction reader. I live in fiction. I breathe fiction. So non-fiction books, first of all, reading is so difficult. It's very difficult. To finish a self-help book is like literally, it's an achievement in itself. But the thing with self-help book is that book doesn't have anything to read. Okay. It's सेल्फर बुक में आधे से ज़्यादा वो चीज़ें लिखी होती हैं जो आपको ऑलरेडी पता होती हैं अपने ब्रेन में अपने हार्ट में आपको ऑलरेडी वो सारी चीज़ें पता होती हैं लेकिन उन चीज़ों को इंप्लीमेंट करना अपने अंदर वो विल पावर लाना टू एक्चुअली इंप्लीमेंट दोस उन चीजों को अप्लाई से इंप्लीमेंट करना वो आपके खुद के हाथ में होता है वो विल पावर आपको खुद से जगानी पड़ेगी बुक उसमें कुछ नहीं कर सकती लेकिन जब शो यू or make you realize the thing that you haven't but other than that whatever is going to change in your life that is completely depend on yourself that's the i think it's a myth about self-help books ki book par lo or book se sab kuch tumhari life change rahegi aise nahi hota you need to change your life books sirf aapko thoda guidance de sakti hai okay moving on this is the first book that i annotated okay this is my first ever book that i annotated because i literally felt like now uh, we're gonna first dive on to the okay first let let's let's let me give you a brief review about this book okay what my review is ki uh agar tumne book jab aayi thi tab padhi hoti to oh my god lekin abhi to matlab rehne hi do abhi to kya hi padhoge iska isme jo sari cheeze likhi hui hain wo sab aap already itni baar sun chuke ho itni zyada baar sun chuke ho sab kuch itna repeated hai कि आपको ये बुक पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं आप ऑल लिटरली आप बस अपना इंस्टाग्राम खोलो और सब कुछ जो इसमें लिखा हुआ है ना वो ऑलरेडी इंस्टाग्राम पे है एवरीथिंग लाइक लिटरली एवरीथिंग कुछ कुछ ऐसा डिफरेंट या कुछ नया नहीं लिखा हुआ है सो माय अदर देन दैट मुझे इस बुक की लैंग्वेज बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं आई I know to some people it might feel like oh, old school and इतना भी कुछ नहीं था इट्स चिल रिलैक्स इट्स नॉर्मल that is not the purpose of according to me that is not the language a book should be using at all i know uh, there are some uh, so called romance readers jinhone wo kalin hoover wale books padhi hui hongi that language is shitty to be very 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 honest that language is literally shitty shitty and books should not have that kind of language but 
it is what it is so uh, it's just my review just my point of view. i'm not saying ki uh, ye to padhni nahi chahiye aur iski to language bahut gandi hai nahi nahi mat padho to me just to according to me i do not agree with the language the is book pe jo first pe front mein naam word likha hua hai na not giving a fuck वो जो वर्ड है ना वो इतना क्योंकि एक तो ओ माई गॉड फॉक वर्ड कैसे यूज कर दिया हो तो बड़ा बोल्ड है ये तो बड़ा यू नो तो कुछ आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स हो गया उस टाइम पे क्योंकि ये था लेकिन बुक में थ्रू आउट वेर यू वेर एवर यू हैव टू से देंटेंस यू डोट हैव टू यूज द वर्ड फॉक ऑल द टाइम इन एवरी सिंगल सेंटेंस बिकॉज वी वन वे और We all know what the word "fuck" actually means. We might use it in different sentences, in different contexts, with different content, meaning completely something different. But at the same time, we need to understand that the word "fuck" means something in particular, and it is not good. It is not something very you should be glamorizing. So, if you you use a word in your title, in the title of your book, it got sold out. Very good. But you don't have to use the same word in every single sentence, every single time wherever you are conveying your sentence or your message. That is something I do not agree with. Overall, I would say that, I mean, it's okay. Jin to first of all, I would say that college kids should not be given to college. If you are passed out from college and you are dealing with real life right now. good for you you can understand it and you can get the message in the right way that you are supposed to chindi bachcho ko agar de di jinka dimag literally ghutnon mein hai aur jin jo sirf aadha hi sentence sunte hain kyunki unko aadhe sentence se hi matlab hota hai aadhe sentence mein unko khushi mil jati hai unko to ye bilkul nahi deni chahiye unke haath mein to ye bilkul nahi jaani chahiye kyunki wo kuch baat jo baat likhi hui hai uska kuch alag hi matlab nikalenge aur fir usi pe implement karna shuru kiya aur ye aise bol diya ye sahi hai bhai ishi pakad gaya listen to your full sentence aur wo aadhe se zyada bacche logo ko to bilkul samajh nahi aata to unke liye to bilkul sahi nahi hai so that is one point about this book uh, another thing is ki um, मतलब ठीक है यार मैं क्या ही बोलूँ सेल्फ हेल्प है कि हाँ मतलब थोड़ा आपके कुछ चीजों से आपको फेस टू फेस रियलाइजेशन एक एक काइंड ऑफ रियलिटी चेक थोड़ा मिल जाता है कि हाँ मतलब और एक थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस मिल जाता है कि मतलब तुम गलत नहीं सोचो इट्स द राइट थिंग टू थिंक मतलब लाइक ठीक है इट्स ओके इट्स फाइन यू आर नॉट डूइंग यू आर नॉट एनी थिंग डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर पीपल यू आर एज नॉर्मल एनी वे एल्स सो फॉर फॉर दैट पर्पज दैट इज लाइक फाइन मूविंग On to the context. Chapter one, don't try. Chapter two, happiness is a problem. Chapter three, you are not special. Chapter four, the value of suffering. Chapter five, you are always choosing. Chapter six, you are wrong about everything. But so am I. Chapter seven, failure is the way forward. Chapter eight, importance of saying no. Chapter eight, and then you die. So, now me, how dramatic it feels. Hour is dramatic, not. Of course, it's not fiction. ओके इस फर्स्ट फाइव चैप्टर्स जो इसके फर्स्ट फाइव चैप्टर्स है ना वहां तक तो मैंने जहमत भी नहीं करी एनोटेट करने की फर्स्ट थ्री चैप्टर्स में तो ना मेरा फेस स्ट्रॉन्ग ऐसे था लिटरली थ्रू आउट कि मतलब क्या है बट देन वी मूव ऑन टू चैप्टर फाइव एंड देन इट्स लाइक चलो ठीक है चलो मतलब कोई बात नहीं चलता है चैप्टर सिक्स वेयर आई स्टार्टेड एनोटेटिंग द बुक बिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी पॉइंट दट आई डोंट अग्री विद लाइक आई एम गोना पिक वन इन रेंडम चांसेस आर यू हैव हर्ट सम फ्रॉम द परकेशन लॉ वर्क एक्सपेंड सो एज टू फिल अप द टाइम अवेलेबल फॉर इट्स कंपलीशन You have always you you have also undoubtedly heard of Murphy's law. Whatever can go wrong will go wrong. Well, next time you are at swanky cocktail party and you want to impress somebody, try dropping Manson's law of avoidance on them. The more something threatens your identity, the more you will avoid it. Now, my quotation is: One must not be afraid of things going wrong, but prepare themselves for whatever is on their way. पता है क्या कोटेशन ना लिख के नहीं छोड़ना होता 
यू गोट डाइव इन टू इट क्योंकि कोटेशन अपने आप में बहुत कुछ कहता है और सबके लिए एक अलग इंटरप्रिटेशन हो जाती है सो यू नीड टू एलेबोरेट विच यू और टाइम टू से Yes, there is one sentence that I completely uh, felt like I no. It says, and to this I say, in my vast Yoda impersonation, do or do not. There is no how. I don't agree with that. How is a, my condition is how is a requirement to deal with human mind. अगर आपके दिमाग में क्वेश्चन आ ही नहीं रहा है how कैसे तो आप कुछ नहीं सीख रहे हो दैट मीन्स यू आर कंप्लीटली लेटिंग थिंग्स ऑफ आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि यू हैव टू आस्क हाउ इन एवरीथिंग इन टू एवरीबडी कि कैसी हो कैसे हो सबकी लाइफ में घुस जाओ नहीं बट लाइफ में दुनिया में जो चीजें हो रही हैं इट्स गुड टू आस्क हाउ कि कैसे हुआ बिकॉज इफ यू आर नॉट कंसर्न अबाउट द थिंग्स हाउ और वाई You layer, you are diff, drifting from your life away from your life, which is not healthy. Of course, it's not healthy. So it's very important to have that how in your life for some for certain things. There is this one chapter. Uh, it's called "You Are Always Choosing." Ah, uh, inka kehna ye hai ki despite all that he was still responsible for his own emotions, beliefs, and action. How he reacted to his own son's death was his own choice. And then there is this line: one of many ways he could have chosen to use that pain. I don't agree with that. First of all, you can never choose how you feel about certain things. You can control your emotion. You can keep it to yourself. You can choose to manipulate. your own emotion to drive your actions into something else like convert it into some kind of action or something like that that is completely your choice but you cannot choose to feel something about certain things those things only happen if your mind change gets change at some point like jab hum bachche hote hain to hame bahut sari cheezon ke bare mein मतलब ऐसे कुछ चुल होता है कि ये जाना है वो जाना है लेकिन जब बड़े हो जाते हैं तो हम चीजों से अवेयर हो जाते हैं तो वो क्यूरियोसिटी कम हो जाती है या फिर वो इमोशन चेंज हो जाता है कि मतलब अब पहले एक्साइटेड होते थे अब नहीं होते बिकॉज वी आर यूज टू इट नाउ बट बट दैट इज नॉट योर चॉइस यू डिड नॉट चूज टू बी एक्साइटेड और नॉट एक्साइटेड फॉर समथिंग दैट इज समथिंग हैपन बिकॉज योर ब्रेन वर्क सेट वे योर माइंड सेट गॉट चेंज अबाउट समथिंग दैट हाउ योर इमोशन You cannot just choose to feel something about something. कि अगर कोई कुछ बुरा हुआ है and you just choose to be happy about it. You cannot choose. That's how your brain works. That's how your mind works. That how your hormones work. आपको कोई अच्छा लगता है तो अच्छा लगता है. आपको कोई बुरा लगता है तो बुरा लगता है. Because they don't fit in your certain tighties or like whatever etc. Feelings are beyond your control. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Feelings are beyond your choice. You can always control them. You can control your anger. You can control your love. You can control any emotion you have in yourself. You can convert it into something else with through your actions or through your um, words or whatever it is. You cannot choose to feel something that you don't want to or you just want to. It's, it doesn't work that way. So there are many things in it that. Uh, uh, I don't agree with, and I feel like like this is this this is something really uh, not right to say. That is just like everyone can have a different opinion about different things. This is just something mine. So um, that's it. My genuine review for this book just has to be that like if you wanna know. A certain things in life that you might be confused about, you can have it a read. You can you can have a go at it. If you feel like it's going in the right direction, you can complete it. If you don't, just leave it right there. Because I can assure you, it says nothing that you haven't already heard of. Because everything is so repeated right now. So uh, that's that. And my sum up just has to be like. Um, देख लो यार मर्जी है तुम्हारी मतलब आई वॉज नॉट वेरी इम्प्रेस्ड 
my summer just has to be that i was not very impressed and i was not like wow something out of the box like fine okay do we get it so that was all about the subtle art of not giving a fuck the name itself just makes it sound like oh my god so cool so fine so fancy no but the book just doesn't live up to the standard that i thought it would uh, but when it was released in 2016 it was a big deal and i think for that time it has to be the big deal but the world like grew so much over the past few years that uh, all these things are so repeated and so like old now and nothing new nothing different so whatever but overall fine it's a book i gave it one month once a day that's okay that's all for this one see you in another one have a great day take care of yourself eat healthy live healthy keep your mental health in check regularly that is very very important agar wo theek nahi hai to kaam pe to bilkul focus nahi kar paoge that is a very 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 truth you need to have a good mindset when you are going to work because other than that it's not going to work so uh stay healthy stay happy and i'll see you in another one bye